button called the beautiful necklace let's get right into it mobile okay so this question seems to be uh, of the type where we need to understand the problem statement in depth and if you are able to do that the implementation will not be very very hard right so let's go through the question and understand the test case and then come up with the approach and then we'll code it okay so let's start uh Richie went to a market selling necklaces. He went. He wanted to buy a beautiful necklace for his mother. He knew that his mom would become angry if he spent too much money on the necklace. But he wanted to buy the best necklace for his mother. So he decided to buy two necklaces and merge them to make the necklace with maximum beautiness. Okay. So this is the problem, but there would be a code version of this. so there are a total of n different necklaces in the market and each necklace has the same number of stones m each stone j in necklace i has beautiness value p of ij right so if you have to understand this there would be n different necklaces right and each necklace will have the same number of stones m so if there are n and if n equals to 4 and m equals 5 that means there would be four necklaces with five stones each right and each stone j in necklace i has the value uh, has a beautiness value b of ij so we'll also get beautiness value each stone in every necklace now how do we compute the beautiness of a single necklace the beautiness of a single necklace i is the minimum value of all of the stones in the necklace so if you have uh, Uh, beautiness value b i j for every stone then the total beautiness of that necklace would be the minimum value of all uh, across all stones of that necklace so if for example uh, if the uh, necklace had three stones uh, each of beautiness value 1 2 and 3 then the beautiness of that single necklace would be 1 right because 1 is less than 2 is less than 3 right richi wanted to give his mother a necklace with maximum beautiness so he bought two necklaces with index ij so if there are five necklaces he bought a he bought two necklaces instead of one necklace so now the beautiness of the combined necklace is min of max of bi comma 1 comma bj comma 1 bj of 1 comma max of bi 2 comma bj 2 okay so we'll understand what this essentially means this essentially would mean that if i took two necklaces i would be looking at index of each necklace so let's say the first stone with the first stone with necklace 1 with first stone with necklace 2 and i would be comparing the maximum of these two values right and so on and so forth for every index second or second stone of necklace 1 with second stone of necklace 2 and so on till n index of necklace 1 with nth index of necklace 2 and then because we know that now both of these are merged together like we've just discussed the beautiness of this necklace would be the minimum value across all of these values right so we'll be able to understand this better with an example so here sample input would be first line contain the integers n and m like we have discussed n is a number of necklaces and m here would be the total number of stones in each necklace right so if we take this example there are five necklaces here with four stones each right so let's look at this i've just written down the test case here right so if he chooses these two necklaces hypothetically let's understand what is the computation that happens and how we how do we det determine that if he chooses these two necklaces what will be the total beautiness of this combined necklace Right, so what did we say? We would first have to take stone of stone at each index. So we have to take two and then one, right? And then we have to take the max of each of max between these two. Right, the max of these two would be two. Right, so let's take two. Right, that would become the new necklace, computer, uh, new stone that has been combined, and it that stone ka value would be this. Right, so the next would be one and four max between one and four, which would be four. Right, max between eight and three would be 
max between 9 and 8 would be 9. Right? Now, the beauty of this necklace, this combined necklace, will be min of these values. Right? And this will be min of 2, 4, 8, 9 would be 2. Right? So the beauty of this combined necklace, therefore, is going to be 2. Right? I hope what operation we are doing while combining necklaces and finding out the beauty of the merged necklace is clear. Right? Now that we have figured out what to do to figure out the total beauty of a necklace, uh, when you combine two uh, necklaces, how to find out the beauty of the merged necklace. Right? So let's say we get a value A. One for this combination. So now similarly, we need to go through every possible combination. Right? Let's name this necklace one, necklace two, necklace three, necklace four, necklace five. Right? So we need to, we've just gone through one to two. Let's call this A one two maybe. Right? Now we need to go through what, what will be the beauty of the merged necklace if I merge one and three? Now the thing to notice here is that once we have done one two one three one four one five, two one three one four one five one is the same value. So therefore, a one two will be equals to a two one, right? Because we are taking the max value of this and this between this and this, regardless of whether I'm comparing 1 or 2 or 2 or 1, that max value will remain constant. So essentially, we don't need to, once you have iterated this way, we don't need to check these combinations again. Right? So essentially, you will have to do 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. Then you will have to do 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. Then you have to do 3, 4, 3, 5. Then 4, 5. Right? So you will get... You will have lots of values here, and you will eventually get A of 4, 5. Right? So these are all the possible necklace combinations that you will get with this value being represented as the beauty of the merged necklace. <clears throat> now our objective, as we have noticed here, is that we essentially need to get the max maximum value of the beautifulness right so if we need to get max value of beautifulness we just need to do max of all of these values to so max of a12 a13 which is all these combinations we will get max beauty as the answer so i think this is fairly straightforward now now that we have figured out that how to, we have figured out two things essentially, how to merge two necklaces and find the beauty of the combination, what are all the possible, com all, all such possible combinations, and the way to get the answer here would be simply to take the max of all of these values in the number, right? Why? Because we want to get the min value. So if any number is less than uh, result, it will get set to that as part of our item. Right? So now what do we need to do? We need to go from k equals to 0 to k is equal to 0 to k less than m in this case. Why m? Because we need to loop through the number of stones in this case. right? Because we already have i and j which represents each necklace. Now we need to visit every stone in, every, in each of these two necklaces. Right? So, we are going to say result will be math dot min of result comma math dot max between tones in each in corresponding same positions in both necklaces, right? So we need to say necklace data of two values. Let's write these down first so we can then go through what 
two combinations we need to take. So what does necklace data represent? It represents first which uh, necklace it will be and then which stone it will be in the jth column, right? So we'll say I want to take necklace data of I and necklace data of J, which will represent the two necklaces. Then I need to take the two stones in the same position, which would in this case be K. and then return the result. Right, so what is happening here? Let's go through this code again. So let's, for example, let's take the zeroth iteration here where I would be zero and J would be one in this case because J is equal to I plus one, right? So in check combination, what will be the value of I and J? I will be zero and J will be one, right? So when it comes here, result is set to max possible value of number Right? And then let's say k equals to zero in the first iteration. What will essentially happen is we will take the min of result comma max of necklace data of i and k. In this case, i we, like we have discussed would be zero. So zero of k, k is also zero in the first iteration. Right? So it would be, we, we are considering the element two in this case. Right? And we're comparing two with Necklace data of J of K and J here is one. Right, so we are considering one of zero because K is still zero. If we go back to this, that's essentially want, what we want to compare. We want to compare two and then we want to compare one. Right, and then in the next iteration, K becomes one because of K plus plus and I and J still remain to be zero and one. Right, so in this case, K is also one now. So in this case, we would compare in this in this code block, we would compare one and four, right? Exactly like how we compared one and four here. Right? After we have gotten all of these values, we are then doing a min between two and one and one and four, like we have done here as well. Right? We said the uh, the max of two and one, and then the min of all of these values. Right, which will essentially give us the result. So we have done two things. We have taken every combination of necklace and then we have gotten the beautiness of the necklace if we combine uh, these two, if we combine any two uh, necklaces and then across all of them, we are taking the max to give us the answer. Okay, so now that we have successfully implemented our solution, let's try and run it and see if we are getting the expected output. Now, what should be the expected output? We have discussed here that the sample output should, should be three. Why should it be three? Because amongst all the combinations, the max beauty of the resultant necklace would be the combination of this and this, because uh, if we take these two necklaces, quickly let's go through them again. Let's go through the logic again. It would be max of this comma this, whereas in case it would in this case it would be three. Max of nine comma four would be nine. Max of nine and three would be nine again. Max of eight and six would be eight. So now we need to find the min value of this merge necklace, which would be three, nine, nine, and eight, and the min of these values is of course three. Right. So let's try and execute this and see if we're able to get the value three. Then we have successfully implemented the problem. Right. So the value is actually three. And therefore, we were able to implement this solution. Right? So what did we learn? We learned two things. We learned first, we need to invest time in understanding the problem statement. And after that, the implementation becomes very easy. So we split it into two parts. First, we said, let's break this down, break this problem down into finding out all possible combinations of the necklace, <clears throat> right? which we achieved via this. Uh, going via i and j plus one and iterating through all possible combinations. And then once we had all combinations, we just checked what would be the beauty of the merge necklace of each combination. And then we were just able to take the max of each necklace, right? So I hope this is clear. I hope this was useful to all of you. Uh, thank you so much. Mm-hmm.
इसको छुट्टी नहीं मिले हमको साहब स्कूल में छुट्टी देना समझा कैसे छुट्टी नहीं रहेगा ठीक इसीलिए मैं धंधा का चलते छुट्टी दिया आपको भी देखिए 